guys, welcome back to my 12 days of Christmas series. In today's video, I will be showing you guys four different gift basket ideas that are all ranging between five and $20. We're gonna start with the least expensive gift. I'm not gonna call it a basket because I don't put this one in a basket, but if you guys live local to a Siegel book, they sell these warmers for just $2.99 and that's just the regular price of them. They weren't on any kind of special sell. So $2.99 and then I went over to Walmart and I picked up two of my favorite scents. So putting this all together only cost me five bucks. I used some ribbon that I already had so that's something you guys could easily do. And to just add some embellishment, I went ahead and tied on one of these bells that I already had laying around. In this next basket, I am going to be making a potpourri. I was given this years ago, and since then I've made them every single year. This was probably one of my favorite things I've ever received from a neighbor. So all I'm doing here is I'm giving them the exact ingredients they need. So all they have to do is dump this into the pot on the stove and it's ready to go. And I will have these exact ingredients listed in the description box below. I went to my thrift store to pick up this basket and then I found this really cute beanie at Walmart for just $9. These snowflake pretzels are also from Walmart and all of the jars I show in this video are from Dollar Tree. So one quick tip I would give you when it comes to making gift baskets is anytime you can take the item out of the original packaging and put it into some kind of jar, I personally think it just gives that perfect touch to your gift basket. Another bonus to that is that you can get multiple uses out of one package. So for instance, these pretzels, I could probably make at least two of these jars full of pretzels. So I can make at least two gift baskets with one box of these. I found this really cute sign at Dollar Tree. And then to finish this off, I am just using a Dollar Tree ornament to again add just a cute little embellishment. This next gift basket is going to be like the ultimate cozy gift basket. So I'm first starting out with making my own hot chocolate jar. So again, I got this jar at Dollar Tree. I'm filling it up with some hot chocolate and then doing a layer of chocolate chips and then marshmallows. This next thing I'm making is just a jar of Epsom salt. And then while at Dollar Tree today, I also found this bamboo charcoal toothbrush, which are very popular right now, as well as some charcoal toothpaste. And again, with the packaging on this, I don't love the packaging, so I thought if I just wrap this, and then by sticking the toothbrush on top, they'll kind of get that this is a little package deal. This jade roller is something else I found at Dollar Tree and I know these are really in right now so I thought this would be really cute to also place in this gift basket. So But I took off the original packaging again and then I used this beaded garland from Dollar Tree to wrap around it. So this just makes it look a little bit more fancy. Born is the king. Born is the king of 
And to me, you can't have a cozy basket without some kind of candle. So this candle holder was from Dollar Tree as well as this marble candle. This next basket is going to be a breakfast baking basket. So I picked up these wooden spoons from Dollar Tree and then I'm just going to be painting the bottoms of them red just to make them a little bit more festive. I think these will look really cute inside the basket. For this specific basket, I thought it'd be cute to put this inside of a colander and I found this at our thrift store for just a dollar. Now placing in my favorite pancake mix as well as syrup, I thought these items would just be the perfect thing to go inside of this breakfast basket. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. I hope you guys got some inspiration and maybe some ideas of how you can affordably make your own gift baskets this Christmas season. Thanks again for watching guys. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. We will see you guys in the next video.